way, this poem has been exhumed as it was written in the 1970s, when the dream was new. Uh, and it was in my first published book. Its theme, though, has been uh, perennial with me, a kind of post-Darwinian slippage into the skin and the point of view uh, of the non-human animals in an effort to see our own species better. Uh, even as the times demand that we outgrow the human-centered myths from the childhood of the race. So, knowing the enemy. And thank you to the designer. That's a gorgeous question. The sun strikes the whale's back. He dives until the sun is overcast with tons of green. He knows himself full grown. The burden that he carried in his belly like a stone is gone. He has given his Jonah back to God. For years he carried him under the furrowed trenches of his brow and felt him walk by day the caves under the great hill of his back. This memory, this earthbound being he had been. Since he was small, this man-thing had been tangled in the mangroves of his mind, burning like swamp fire or the hated sun, searing him who needed filtered light for whom the mist was heaven. Such preferences are fate. When on the great heave he disgorged this image that distended him, he found it strange how puny his antagonist had grown, a twin-tailed tadpole rushing off in foam. His silver geyser rises in the air. The bad dreams disappear like islands off his starboard flank. He moves huge through his own mist, oiled silver by the moon, arrowed as St. Sebastian, bristling, harpooned. 